for the second day running, a hostile welcoming committee lied in wait for Emmanuel Macron. The French president was once again booed and heckled as he arrived in the southern city of Ganges. Angry protesters banged pots and pans and shouted slogans mourning the death of democracy to show they weren't ready to turn the page on his unpopular pensions reform. He makes a lot of decisions, but he doesn't get to decide when we stop protesting. Eager to move on, Macron kicked off a nationwide tour on Wednesday as he hoped to shift attention to other issues and show he wasn't hiding from the people. But as he visited a school under heavy police escort, the president showed little interest in confronting his critics. I think they want to talk to you. But if it's just with eggs and pans, these are for cooking. Pressed by a journalist over the ongoing unrest, Macron instead chose to focus on the positives. This show of anger is legitimate, but we must continue to move forward. We're here to move forward on education projects and to honor our pledges. And I think it's important to show that we're investing heavily in our schools and our teachers. The French president went on to announce an across-the-board pay rise for teachers, fulfilling an old campaign promise. But this olive branch was unlikely to appease critics as unions staged dozens of protests across France on Thursday to show their anger and outrage were still very much alive.